What's up, guys? This is Anthony Valentine from the Av New York Customs or the Av Customs. Um, so I do these videos based upon questions that I'm asked. Um, I will start to do videos intentionally so I can show off some more features and and um, and more products. So someone had a question, and 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 this was. A question that came up before about the audio the background music specifically um, sometimes they're not having any audio coming through um, so there are, are several ways to, to fix this um, I usually most likely check uh, to make sure that everything is good but when I am um, reproducing the image I'm guessing at, at one point or another I'm, I may not go fully in on some of them to uh, to check everything. I, I usually check what the games run. I check if if anything is overheating. I check for the major problems. Make sure the games are working. Um, I don't concentrate too much on the background music, admittingly. Um, but again, easy fix. So you're gonna go to RetroPie Config. There are two options here that can fix your problem. One is audio first option the second is the background music so go to background music these things take some time to load it's not frozen it's not uh, anything if you still hear the music it's loaded or in your case if you're not hearing music just wait a little bit it'll pop up okay so you're gonna get this particular um, passwords that come up they come in here you're going to get disable background music enable background music enable it processing bang so what should happen is if this was your problem your music should stop playing now and if that's the case you're welcome <laughs> so the next is audio first option Same scenario, take some time to load. Boom. So, if you have your, all my cabinets, I, I, I buy TVs, I buy mini TVs um, that have built-in sound like this particular model here. Um, and what I do is that these have little tiny little speakers in it. I upgrade the speakers. So what I do is just open up the TV, splice into the uh, I splice into the uh, the audio wires, and just install the the bigger speakers into it, clearer speakers. Um, so here, by default, they're on auto. You want to make sure that I always do mine's do an HDMI make sure it's HDMI hit that sorry for this being blurry come on there you go set to audio yes bang and that should take care of it now it's, it's, if your sound hasn't come up yet um that that means it might not be any music in there or there might be something wrong with the extension of the file itself so, at this point, hook up your your Pi to a Ethernet cable, or go into the Wi-Fi setting, which will be the last option on the last option on your menus in the RetroPie menu. I got mine hooked up to Ethernet. Come to your computer. Now, on the computer, just go to open up a folder. Go into the folder and you're going to do backslash, backslash, RetroPie, all caps. When you do that right, you're going to get these four folders. Now that video that pops up when you first, when you first enter the uh, turn on your system, this is where that goes. 
splash screens. You can put your own videos into this. Um, I'll do a, another tutorial on that. Uh, it's, but pretty much it's rather plug and play. The way that I have the settings, as long as you drop it in there, you should it should come up. Um, so these are some of the ones in here. But this is the folder you want to concentrate on, ROMs. This is also where you want to add, if you want to add and subtract games, um, this is where you do it. Or if you want to delete a whole entire system that you're never going to play. Um, this is the list of the systems and in each folder there are games. So you have FBA, Final Burn Alpha, you got GBA, Game Boy Advance, GBA H, which is, means GBA Hack Games. So anything with an H at the end, um, it really stands for hack. And these are um, either games that never was released or just people just messing with the code and doing their own thing. Some of the hack games are very fun. Um, I think that really alone, that is some of the most fun games if you can play some of the hack games. But let's go into the music problem. So this image that I put onto it originally comes with the background music disabled. What I do, if you go into this folder and you see it says underscore disabled or this music file has some weird extension to it, that means that's the reason why it's not finding it um, so you need to delete the the rest of this and make sure it just says music or the other problem is that it could be no music in your folder I normally dump the same music on every single build that I do um, you guys have more than enough you can just do whatever you want to do you can delete whatever add your own stuff into it or delete everything it's completely up to you on how you want to do it um, so that would be that so this is how pretty much how you add music how add games to go through that um, so make sure that on the Wi-Fi is connected or the Ethernet is connected and go through there and you should see these folders all right back to the pot. Now, the last option that could be, it could just be that it's just not recognizing um, the input. You know, even though we did it through the, 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 the RetroPod config, but on here in the main menu by pressing start, you get into here. Go down to sound settings. Uh, all right, sound settings. Make sure your volume is all the way up. Speaker, turns to the speaker. It has other options. I think it would be on PMC. Turn the speaker, come down here. Make sure that this is on HDMI. If you decide using a 3.5 millimeter jack, um, it will be on local, but pretty much just turn to HDMI. Just hit it, hit it again, and you should be set. Now, these are all the options. These are all the ways that you can control the sound. Um, there are more in-depth where you need to get to code. And if that's the case, then that's a completely other thing altogether. Now, the other thing is if you do not see this menu, right? You don't see this menu when you pop up. Or you probably will see only quick and sound that means the it's on kiosk mode so here it says under ui mode kiosk mode when you're in the kiosk mode i'm gonna go into it real quick so you go into kiosk mode in order to take the kiosk mode off you would have to enter this code now this code is the contra code up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B. And then automatically it would, the whole emulation station would reset. And when you, when it comes back on, you'll be able to have the full menu like this. Instead of just seeing sound or quit. Um, I've seen a lot of people who've ordered 
uh, Retro Pie um, arcade machines, and they were like, "Oh, we can't get this menu. Can this menu? Everything is locked off. It it's it's easy. The contra code: up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. A B or oh, it's B A. What's it B A? I completely confess." Yeah, BA. So up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. And then it would start. If you do it right, it would start. Now, the other thing about that is you have to do it within the main within the main uh, menu. You can't be within one of the... Don't do it within one of the game menus because it won't work there. You have to be in the main, the main screen in order to, for that code to work. All right? So hopefully that this answered someone's question. Um, you know, like I said, for the most part, I try my best to make sure that everything is working. Um, I concentrate, I, I admittedly concentrate more on making sure that the games are working, making sure that it boot ups, and making sure that it shuts down correctly. Um, everything else is an easy fix. Um, and I know a lot of people, they they mess with it anyway they they take apart the cabinet and they do their own thing um but if you're not one of those who take it apart and do your own thing you just you just want you know certain things to happen this video hopefully this video will help um if you within the tricep area i have no problem coming by and fine-tuning the um the cabinet for you um but if you're <laughs> you're not within the Connecticut, New York, or New Jersey area, you're going to have to set up for my videos. Um, for the most part, I'm, I'm usually very honest and open about what I'm selling, uh, what you're getting. Um, and like I said, there are other sites where you can get um, other images. This is, this is the image. Um, and other builds that have different configurations, different systems. Um, they're easy to find. Um, if you're going to do that yourself, let's go back to the computer. And you would need these two particular programs. You would need putty. That's, that's to make, a um, to do more configurations, more in depth with the code, but disk win 32 disk imager. This is what I use to. Okay. Yes. So what you do is you locate the image. So mine, I have mine on that thing. Got a retro pie. And I just go to the appropriate one. Let's say we're doing that. The image should look like this. If you if it doesn't look like that, just you don't have a certain program in your in your computer. But as long as you have that disk imagery, this is how it should show up. You go into open. This will populate here. Just make sure you have your appropriate size um, memory card. This one's a one twenty eight. There you go. Um, and then put it in. It should tell you the, the drive letter of where you have it, and then just let it go. Uh, take about two, three hours, depending on the size of your disk, and and uh, that will that be it. So once it's done, it's gonna prompt you on how to set your controls. I got my uh, little box here. I use this for my testing along with these two. This is my testing center here. So, yeah, man. So, I mean, this hopefully will help. All right. Um, so, one of these options will definitely give you your audio back. Um, other than that, I would say make sure the HDMI is good. But if you're getting picture and you're getting other sound, it has to be one of those. Now, if you're not getting any sound out the back, then definitely give me a call and, and, and we'll troubleshoot it. If not, like I said, I can bring it over. But I do make sure 
that the games and everything else have sound before I ship. Uh, I definitely make sure that those big problems are not a problem before I ship. But again, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully this helps somebody do something. Um, stay tuned for other cabinets that I'm making coming up. Mainly something like this, which this should be done. This should be done uh, by the end of the week. So now I'm using an acrylic base here. So when the um, when the decals are on, there's going to be an LED light um, on the bottom. So it's going to be one of these babies placed on the bottom so that the whole entire control panel is going to glide, light up as well as the, the marquee. So the marquee, the control panel, and of course the buttons are all going to light up. Um, there are options for a light up control stick um, I worry I'm gonna do something with that later um, I'll definitely make a, a video when I'm done with this project which I should be done with this by Friday and um, I'm working on this for another customer this was a custom request and of course custom requests will cost more these this thick uh, plexiglass is not not cheap um, I, I do all this, as I said in other videos, I, I'm, you know, I do some of my spare time. Um, this is not, I haven't have an official business yet for this, but um, if the sales start picking up even more, I mean, I, I am selling a good number of these a week, but when the sales start getting up pretty comfortable, then I, I might start to consider it, you know, to be like a full-time business. But I do have my day job, guys, so do take do be patient with me when um you order these stuff i try to get everything out within a week to two weeks even though i do stay three to four weeks um look at the reviews i do ship pretty fast and most of the time i do have these cabinets pre-made just waiting for you to buy them so i can just do the graphics and ship them out but uh this should be an exciting exciting thing here Light up, light up a uh, control panel, light up marquee, light up buttons. But I'll let you guys know when it's all completed. All right. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.